are watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. Yay! For the community, by the Life and Style with Sarah. On tonight's show, we are going to be talking about winter skin care. My guest is Jerry Curtis. She is the manager of the KZN store in the West Hartford Center, and she is a skin care um, expert, and she's going to help us learn how to make sure that we um, keep our skin healthy in the cold, harsh Connecticut winter. Jerry, thanks so much for joining me. You're welcome. Not a problem. So, why is it, I, I mean, in the winter that our skin just, I mean, my hands, they get the cracks, they get all dried out. Um, is it just the cold or what is it that causes it's it? Definitely the cold. Um, and it's just the fact that you're in and out, you know, of your house, work, car, where there's heat blasting on you and then going out into the cold. So that definitely takes all the moisture out of your skin. Okay. Um, and that leads to dry skin, cracks. Yeah, it's awful. In fact, I have a couple that are working right now, so I'm looking forward to this. Cause yeah. Maybe we'll get them. Maybe we'll get them closed up before they actually uh, get really bad. We'll try. So, what when people come into your store? I know I came in to the store a couple weeks ago saying, "Please help my my hands are you know they're cracking and they hurt." Um, what is the number one thing that people complain about in the winter with their skin? Um. Mostly about the skin being dry and tight, but I get m a lot of people come in for the hands. Hands, for hands specifically. Yeah, looking for hand creams, mm -hmm. uh, hand treatments, things like that. That's like the number one thing. Okay. So, and, and also the face, I mean. Yeah. Right, because that's exposed. Exactly. As much as you cover everything else up, your face is out. Well, your there. hands and your, your face right. are exposed. So, yeah. yes, that's what gets hit the hardest. Okay. So, so we are going to you're going to step us through ideally what we should do to keep our hands mm -hmm. um, healthy in the winter, nice and moisturized. So what, what is it that we're going to do first? Well, it's just a, um, a hand treatment that you can do at home. Okay. I'd say once a week. I mean, if, if your hands are really bad, though, I probably would do it twice a week. Okay. Um, basically, what we're going to do is exfoliate our hands first. Okay. And then we're going to let with the scrub and the oils from the scrub on the hands, let them soak in some warm water okay. um, for a few minutes. And then what we'll need to do is rinse it off. Okay. Um, but you don't want to wash it off because you still want that oil on the hands from the scrub. And then we'll just do a nail oil and a nice rich cream over it. And then we'll just wrap our hands. Okay. I, that sounds great. I'm going to take my rings off. That's the other thing is, you know, my wedding rings, un the skin in the winter underneath my wedding rings, mm -hmm. it, it just really gets chapped and sore, I think, because of the water and then the cold. And well, then, yeah. Uh, you know. Most likely. Okay, so, so what's first? So we want to take the scrub, which is a lemon scrub. Okay. It's a sugar scrub, actually. So what's the difference between sugar and salt? Is there... Well, sugar is a little more gentle than salt. Salt is definitely more of a grittier type of scrub. Um, but the sugar scrubs are nice because sugar binds moisture to the skin. So that's really good, um, you know, to exfoliate with a sugar-based product okay. just because you're getting the extra moisture from it. Hmm, so, and this one's from LCN, which is, um, it's like a hand nail foot line okay. that we carry in my store actually, but um, okay. so, what do so we, do we just it? take a little bit. Okay. All right, so a little like a finger. Yep. And then basically you're just going to massage your hands with it. So I've heard of exfoliating, you know, the rest of your body and your mm -hmm. face. And for anyone, I don't know, I hate to to be, uh, make a generalization, but if there are any men watching, exfoliating is getting dead skin off of your 
getting the dead skin off, right? Exactly. That's what it is. Okay. Yes. Um, so I, I have thought, you know, I think of that with the face and with the body, um, but I don't really think of it with hands. But I guess that makes sense. There's a lot of yep. dead skin on the hands too. And then how long would you do this for? Um, just for like a minute. Okay. Just to make sure you get your fingers in between. Okay. Around the nails. Now, if you had um, a really deep crack, would this be something you would want to avoid until the crack healed? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I would. Particularly if you're using a salt scrub. <laughs> yes. I can't imagine. Well, the salt. sugar scrubs are easier for the hands. For the body, salt scrubs are nice. Okay. Okay, and then that we can. Smells wonderful. And we can just go ahead and let our hands soak. Okay, so we're soaking this. This is warm water that's in these. See, this is a treat. I find I don't take the time to do this, but then if I do, it just it feels great afterwards. Yeah, most people don't, but if you wanted to do this without the scrub because you mm -hmm. have cracks, what you could do is put, um, you could put honey or olive oil or even milk in the water to oh. let your hands soak in. So just soak, don't scrub, just soak. Exactly. Like if you do something with honey or milk, that um, typically is exfoliating. Hmm. So that and that's will something you just have to in take your, the dead skin off. In your pantry. Yep, exactly. So you can do this at home. Okay. Just let your hands soak for a little while. Just regular um, milk or does it Yeah, to, regular so it could milk. Be anywhere from skim to whole or doesn't matter because <laughs> milk matter. has lactic acid in it. So lactic acid's gonna just gently take off the dead skin. Huh, interesting. So which would be more gentle than doing a scrub, like right. a manual scrub. Right, right, right. So now you had also um, had mentioned when we were talking earlier the lemon um, in this scrub, does that, the, did you say that the lemon, for spots? Or? Yes, the lemon oil is great for lightening spots on the hands, okay. which, so you know, age being spots or age sun spots, spots or? and sun spots. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it lightens them. It helps then, to lighten them. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, and how long do you soak? Eh, usually a couple minutes. Okay. So this is something you could set yourself up in front of your favorite TV show. And yeah and do it. <laughs> exactly. And you would do the same thing for your feet. Okay. This is the same thing So the thing same you would process do. applies for feet. Exactly. Okay. Now feet, you know, get calluses and things. Mm -hmm. So you would definitely want to scrub them. Even using like a foot file okay. would help. Um, definitely the foot file is great for calluses. Okay. So, but you would, would you do file this. after or before you soaked? I would do it. It depends on the file, but um, dry skin, it works better. You're going to have better luck. Dry. Yeah, really? it, it, yeah, instead of wet, because you'll have better luck with getting all the, the calluses huh. and the dry skin off, and then go ahead and soak. And then soak. I would have mm -hmm. thought, soften the skin and scrub it, but that's not the case. I find that they work better on dry skin, oh. but it, like I said, it depends on the actual foot file. Some of them are like a lot more, you know, grittier and mm -hmm. rough than, yeah, you might want to get your feet a little wet first, okay. but it just depends on it. If it's a finer, um, you know, texture to it that would be fine on dry skin. Okay. Okay. I think we can take our hands okay. off. And then. Now you said don't. Just pat them just dry pat. now. Okay. Because you want to leave the, some of the, the moisturizer yes. in there. Some of the oil um, that's okay. left on your hands. And then what you would do next is take the nail oil. That's this? Mm-hmm. Okay. And you're just going to go ahead, put it on your cuticle matrix. Why don't you do it first? I'm not even sure what a cute. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm like I said, I don't take the time, so I'm not even right sure. Right below that is. the cuticle. That's where your nail grows from. Okay. So it's really important to treat it that, and that. And that prevents area. it from. So your nail grows out healthier and stronger. So that helps the nails. Oh yeah. Oh. So you'll just put it on the cuticle matrix, and then you'll just rub it into the, um, the cuticle and your nail. Hmm. So this would help your nails from getting brittle or... Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I'm learning something new. <laughs> so now what about um, the paraffin dips? 
Do you know anything about that? Those and, are great too. Yeah. And oh, what yeah. are those? Is that they're very moisturizing? Idea? Yep. Moisturizing. Mm -hmm. They soften the hands. Um, and, and if you want to, you know, um, push back your cuticles, you would want to do that after you soak your hands. Okay. Just push back your cuticles with a cuticle pusher. Okay. Um, and then go ahead and put the oil on. Okay. So this is just oil? This is... Yep. It's yep. just, it's just natural oils. Okay. And it has some vitamins in it though, so it, that's how it strengthens the nail and okay. makes them healthy. So you just... After you put them on the cuticle matrix, you're just going to massage it into the nail and the rest of your cuticle. Okay. Yeah, I know. I my sometimes my nails split. You know, mm -hmm. like they just yeah. Well, know. it's usually because they're dry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I don't take care of them. <laughs> That could do it too. This will, this will change my hands <laughs> today, after today's show. I'm going to have great hands and want to keep them up. And then you just leave, you leave the oil. Yep, and then what you'll do is, this is, um, this is kind of like a balm for the okay. hands, which is a and lot that's richer. And different than a lotion? Yes, it's okay. a lot richer. It's just going to seal in the moisture. So it's, okay. a, it's, it's something I would probably use if you're doing something like this or before you go to bed because it's richer. Okay. Here. Okay. You only need a little bit of this stuff. Okay, so a balm is thicker yeah. and more heavy duty. Oh, yeah. Now, would a balm help to cure if you do have cracks? Would it help yep. to cure the cracks? Yep. Okay. So now. And um, then what you would probably want to do is take mm -hmm. um, either some cotton gloves okay. or take a towel that's wet and damp, okay. put it in a microwave and then wrap your hands in it. And I would just do that probably about 20 minutes. In a nice warm cloth. Yes. That sounds lovely. And then you fall asleep, then you take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> and you go to bed. And then that will just seal in mm. all the moisture. This feels good, I don't know if we got it. So this is um, Bliss. It's called Glamour Glove Gel. Now talk about the Glamour Gloves, because you mentioned those. The Glamour Gloves, yes. Um, Bliss makes some gloves that are already lined with this gel. And okay. you get 50 uses out of them. Um, and you can wash them. But you just... You so you have 50 uses even if you wash them in between? Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. I do so I, I don't know. <laughs> but it's magic. You, it, they're just gloves. You put them on. You leave them on for about 20 minutes. And they have the same thing for feet. Um, okay. And it because they're closed in, mm -hmm. um, the gel can penetrate a lot deeper, so you get better moisture that way. And how long do you keep them on? About 20 minutes. 20 minutes. So just hang out, watch some TV, right. watch a movie, and then you take them off. Yeah. And then and do that's you it. leave? So you and this is what we just put on, so you can yeah. leave it in on your hands. Yep. And if you want more intense treatment, you can put this on your hands first, and then put them into and the then gloves put them too. In. Mm -hmm. And then can you put more, once you've done your 50 uses, can you put more? You have to get new ones. In. You have to get new ones. Mm -hmm. The 50 uses, for me, that would probably be a couple of years. That, <laughs> more than a couple of years. If you do it once a week. Yeah, it lasts. Once a month, it's a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. not everyone is going to be willing to do these treatments, you know, every right. week. It's just, it's. I think the key is to build it into your schedule. Or yeah. to just automatically, um, like, I, I'm going to admit, I'm not a natural blonde. <laughs> and my hairdresser said when I do the highlights that once a week I should use this shampoo. It's blue shampoo. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And it, it does yeah, something. Yeah, chamomile. To, it keeps based. your hair color longer or something. I'm not even sure. But yeah. she said do it, it once a week. Yeah, it her hair. And um, so I just, on Saturdays, that's what, I know that that's the shampoo I'm going to use. Yeah. And now I'm pretty good at it. So, I, you know, you could say Saturday is your, your day. Your spa day. Your spa day. Yes, <laughs> your spa day. Kick everyone out of your room and do your hands and your feet. And exactly. Everything. Okay. So we did the balm. Um, now, there's another balm that you have. This is another one. Have. Yes. This one's actually a little more richer, a little more intense, but this is a healing balm. So it's perfect for someone who has cracks in their hands. And you can this. even use it on your feet. Yeah, this is really nice. Mm -hmm. um, when I came in, you had recommended this, and um, I do it at night. And it, it's, it, um, it would be hard to do it during the day because it is it's it's very, not it's, greasy, but it's 
It's a thicker. It's, it's a bomb, so yeah. they're usually, you know, waxier, right. uh, slicker type of product. So right. definitely nighttime. Right. But yeah, that stuff's great too, and yeah. it's definitely great for if you have cracks. Right. So Which is good. And I think people. I know my mom. My mom gets terrible cracks in the winter. Mm -hmm. I do. My sister's a teacher. Yeah. She gets cracks because she's constantly washing, washing her, her hands. hands. We got a dog in June. I'm constantly washing my of hands, course. which I think is why I have cracks. You know, and women who are changing diapers have babies. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just that constant exposure. Yeah, washing your hands washing. And, and also the soap you use makes a difference because mm -hmm. if it's, you know, high sudsing detergent based right. You know, soap, it's going to dry out your hands. So that's a, good, that's a good point I wanted to make sure we covered. What kind of ingredients should you be looking for and what should you be avoiding? Well, I would say look for more natural oils, mm -hmm. um, more like shea butter, um, avocado, butter, oil, olive oil, those type of ingredients. Um, stay away from alcohol. It's very drying. Will it say... Will it actually say alcohol or will it be hidden? You'll see it in the ingredients. It will say alcohol. Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. It would say, um, I mean, you'll see it right in the list of ingredients. It would say it has alcohol okay. in it. So, um, you know, and stay away from um, sodium lauryl sulfate, sor sodium laureth sulfates. Um, try to stay away from those. You want more like coconut based, vegetable based, sudsing okay. ingredients. Okay. Instead. I know I, um, I read a book recently about organic, um, it was actually an organic housekeeping mm -hmm. book. And one of the things they said is to avoid soaps, particularly, well, and it was, they were talking about body soap, they were talking about cleaning the shower, and then they were talking about the soaps that you use mm -hmm. and how you really should have natural based Yep. Soaps, which is exactly what you're saying, yep. you know, vegetable based, vegetable yep. ingredients plant versus, vegetable. right, plant based versus petroleum based. Because mm -hmm. the petroleum is what causes all the soap scum mm -hmm. in your shower and in your, in your bathtub. So not only is it better for your skin, but you don't have to clean as hard. And it's also better <laughs> for the environment. And it's better for the environment, exactly. So um, now you said, so what is the second biggest complaints. We did the hand. Are we done with the hands? Oh, there's one more hand one more cream okay. that I was going to recommend for okay. someone who just wants a cream that they can do throughout the day. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's not greasy at all. Right. It's nice and lightweight, but it has the shea butter, the avocado oil in it. Um, so this is nice for, you know, if you want a non-greasy type of hand cream from Caudalie. Now this is, in addition to this, this is something else that you'd recommend yeah, for me. Yeah, throughout the day. Yeah, yep. throughout the day. And I have it sitting in my car because I always leave the house and I forget, I forget to put it on. You know, I'm like in a rush yeah. and I rush out the house and I'm like, shoot. And then I sit in the car and I think, gosh, my hands are really dry. So I'll sit at a, you know, at a light or before I go into wherever I'm going and I'll put it on. So that's a little tip to keep a, keep a container everywhere, keep it by your yep. kitchen. And sink, they actually keep, have keep a small little travel size. Uh, hand cream that you can throw in your purse mm -hmm. or you know leave it in your car wherever right so the key is not only to do to do the deep intensive treatment but also the keep your hands hydrated all day mm -hmm. yeah and just once in the morning really isn't enough because then you wash no your it's hands not because exactly you're washing yeah. your hands so th and this smells really delicious now you had said something about this is this company that you that has the winery is it Quadalie? Yeah, they um, they take whatever is left from making the wine and they put it in their products. So that it's um, it's grape all based. grape based. Yes. Yeah. So again, natural ingredients. Yep. Natural um, and uh, you know it's all over the news about grape seed. Mm -hmm. um, just the grape is mm -hmm. anti aging. Yeah. So yeah. and this is it, this is nice. I like this. I've been enjoying using that. Um, now, what about faces? Is there anything you do differently? The only faces? thing, you know, just make sure that you're using a cleanser that doesn't have all the harsh detergents in it. You want gentle. Everything needs to be gentle. Mm -hmm. um, but I would. The only thing I would say add to your regimen is a mask that's hydrating. Okay. Um, definitely use a serum. Serums help the moisturizer penetrate deeper. They also um, they're very hydrating. So 
So Definitely. a mask you would do how frequently? Like, like twice a week. Twice a week, once a week. Mm -hmm. And if it's, okay. if it's not a clay-based mask, you could actually use it as a night cream and sleep with it. Just make sure it's all absorbed in, which this one is Caudalie as well. And this one, you can actually go to bed with it on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this and is not one of those things that gets all it's hard not like and that. scary on your face? <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. It okay. feels like a face cream. But it's actually a mask. Yes. So if you were to use it as a mask, you'd put it on and then wash it off? Yeah, I would leave it okay. on like five minutes and then just rinse it off and go okay. ahead and put on the rest of your skincare. So you would do a mask mm -hmm. once or twice a week. Yep. And then the serum? The serum, um, what is this? Is every that like a day. <laughs> it's a lotion or it's no, a, no. what is it? No, no, it's usually, it depends on the serum. They can be gel based, they can be oil. Um, they're usually like more of a liquid. Okay. They're a thinner consistency than a cream, so you want to put it on first. So after you wash your face, you would put a serum on, okay. and then you would go ahead and put your cream on. So you wash before you do the mask, or you wash? Yes, yes. So you so wash, you do the mask. Yes. You do the serum, and then the serum helps whatever lotion you put exactly. on to stay. Exactly. Yep. To and serums different. usually are more powerful. Also, if you're looking for anti-aging, they're usually packed with more anti-aging ingredients that um, are a little more stronger and able to penetrate deeper than a cream would be able to. Okay. And then anti-aging meaning. It prevents Preventative wrinkles and or also gets corrective. Rid of wrinkles. <laughs> both, both. I need some serum. Corrective. <laughs> but the one I brought is more of a soothing, moisturizing one for dry skin. So, okay. Um, and it, it's great because it, like, you know, if you're dry, a lot of times you feel irritated, um, yeah. tight. Mm -hmm. So if you use a serum that's hydrating, it's going to definitely um, bring some relief to the skin. Okay. And then um, what about lips? Do you do the same thing? I mean, the lips, is chapstick enough? Or what should you be doing you for use chapped all, lips? For lips, for just make sure you're using something that's not petroleum-based, something that's okay. more like shea butter-based, or any type of butter, like mango butter, avocado. Um, and you want natural oils in it, definitely. So, um, but also, you want to exfoliate your lips first. Okay. Really? Yep, and okay. usually um, a face exfoliant isn't the same as a lip exfoliant. It's not no. harsher or just They're a little more different. grittier for your okay. lips, um, but they, they make a major difference, and they actually make your lips look larger really? when you get all that dead skin off. Mm -hmm. Huh, interesting. Yeah. So if you just do a lip scrub like twice a week and then go ahead and put your lip conditioner on. Hmm. Very into all these so, things that you can do. Yeah, it's really important to exfoliate. That's like yeah. number one. Take off all that dead skin. So number so, one. And then go That's ahead funny. and use your moisturizers, your serums, mm -hmm. and so on. And I mean, also keep in mind that exfoliants are different for each body part. So there's a body exfoliant, a face exfoliant, you know, mm -hmm. and it's really important you don't use something that's for your body on your face. And nothing, and eyes has to be specifically for I ha eyes. It has to specifically say eye on it. Okay. Um, so at the bare minimum, if you're like me and you aren't good at taking the time to do these things, mm -hmm. add exfoliating if you're not already doing yes, it. Yes, exfoliate. And then make sure you're moisturizing. Exactly. Okay. Um, and, and making sure you're not using products with alcohol and or harsh petroleum based. Make exactly. Sure they're vegetable. Um, yeah. Natural if they say butters. natural on it or organic, for mm -hmm. the most part, they're all going to be plant and vegetable based. Okay. Um, and then you said feet basically the same. What about for men? My husband gets dry skin, but he's like, I'm not putting lotion on, you know. <laughs> like they're not conditioned that they should be thinking about Men that, are difficult. But... The only thing you can really get them to do is put on, especially if their hands are yes. really cracked and dry, that, the only thing you can really get them to do is put a hand cream on. Okay. That's really all you can get are them to do for the most part. Are there specifically men oriented scrubs and things? Yes, there are. There are. But it's probably a small <laughs> market or? It, yeah. In spite I mean, of the fact that their skin is just as dry as. Yeah, exactly. Know, but there so. are, oh yeah, there's products for men out there. So, yeah. and you know, these are products for men right here. here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the hand healer from Jack Black is really okay. good, especially for men who work with their hands and mm -hmm. they're, you know, calloused and um, cracked. That's really good for them. It's a really good hand cream. Yes, that one's probably sort of our most popular hands. hand cream. Okay. 
okay. for men. So. So now, one other thing, in the winter, um, we talked about exposure. If you know you're going to be out for a long time, let's say you're going skiing mm -hmm. or you're a cross-country skier or skater or whatever it is, is there anything special you should do prior to going out to protect your skin from the ed ed extra exposure? Yeah, there's um, there's products out there, actually. There's one from Bliss. It's, it's kind of like a balm. Okay. Um, you just put it on the face where, you know, the areas that are going to be exposed and they kind of just create a shield okay. to protect you from the sun and from the wind the burn, wind, right. um, but also sunscreen. You got to put the sunscreen on. That's okay. number one. Make sure so you put, put the sunscreen on and then you can put like a balm, waxy consistency um, just on the areas that are exposed. Okay. So, particularly if you know you're going to be out, exactly you know, out skiing all exactly. day. Exactly. If you're going to be out, you know, doing winter sports. Right. Extra strength is mm -hmm. important. Yep. Okay. Is there anything we haven't covered? Um, body products. So now, body, you do basically the same thing. Exfoliate. You could do this in, exfoliate in the shower. You should exfoliate do it. in the shower. Okay. Um, you know, you can use like a heavy like. Anything that says butter on it, mm -hmm. like a body butter, like Bliss makes, mm -hmm. you know, body so butters. Butter. Those are richer mm -hmm. okay. body creams. Those are great for dry skin in the winter. So if you get the alligator legs. Exactly. Yeah. That's excellent. But what, what works the best, I find, is body oils. Oils. Now, do you, so if you do that in the shower, then do you, the same thing, you try not to wipe it completely off when you get out of the shower? With the oil, yeah. With the oil? Yeah, if you wanted to take a bath, mm -hmm. like what you could do is coat your body with an oil and mm -hmm. then soak in the bath, and then when you got out, just pat dry instead of really drying mm -hmm. yourself off. Okay. And that would, and, and then you could put, then you can put a cream over after when you get out, mm -hmm. and I mean, your skin will be nice and supple. Great. Good. I like the idea of taking a bath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you have, always have the best, best laid plans of doing things like that. Um, this has been great. I think, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we haven't talked about. There, we have the foot scrubs. Mm -hmm. We have all of the different things. So basically the process is the same. At the bare minimum, make sure you exfoliate and moisturize. Exactly. Okay. And make sure that it's natural ingredients, no petroleum or alcohol. Mm -hmm. Um, and you're good to go. And just try to wear gloves where you can, even when right. you're cleaning, you know, try to cut, you know, wear gloves mm -hmm. because those cleaning products will dry out your hands too. Yeah. They're very harsh That's on your great. hands. We're almost out of time. I did want to say that today's show is a special one for me because it is my year anniversary as being the host and the producer of Life and Style with Sarah. And if you enjoy the show and you have ideas for topics that you'd like me to cover or guests you'd like me to have on, please make sure to either call the station or you can email me at lifeandstylewithsarah at gmail.com and I would love to hear from you. Jerry, thank you so much for You're being welcome. my guest. This has been great. My hands feel terrific. <laughs> I feel really good about that. Um, and don't forget to tune in next month to a brand new episode of Life and Style with Sarah. Thanks and good night. <laughs>